Welcome to Providence, Rhode Island, USA, the capital city of the state of Rhode Island. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Providence. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Providence, Rhode Island, USA. Population around 190,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Providence. Providence is one hour and 30 minutes from Hartford and one hour and 15 minutes from Boston. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Providence. People love Providence because of the Roger Williams Park Zoo. The 40-acre Roger Williams Park Zoo is not only one of the oldest zoos in the country, but it's a paragon of modern zoo design and concept. At this kid-friendly and largely cage-free place, you can meet a snow leopard, giraffe, elephant, zebra, wildebeest, alligator, kangaroo, and red panda, and the children can climb into a treehouse or go on a camel ride. If you don't like the notion of caged animals and want to learn something about them and their habitats instead of just parading past, this is the zoo for you. Seasonal activities such as the October Spooky Zoo and Pumpkin Spectacular make it even more fun for kids. Roger Williams Park has a lot to offer and it's easy to see why it's one of the city's favorite places to visit with the family. Covering 435 acres with gardens and a lake, the park has a 1915's bandstand, an amphitheater, and 1773 Betsy Williams Cottage and a children's area with a carousel and trackless train rides. People of Providence because of water fire. At least twice a month between mid-May and late November, brazers in the middle of the river are filled with bonfires that light down city Providence. During full water fire, more than 80 fires blaze from Water Place Park to Memorial South Main Street Park. Brazen fire water fire events are smaller version lightings with 22 brazers in the Water Place Park Basin and five more toward Providence Place Mall. The four acre Water Place Park and River Walk become a festival of arts and music during water fire as young and old alike enjoy their city's revitalization and cultural vibrancy. This and other festivals are among the best and free things to do in Rhode Island. People of Providence because of RISD Museum of Art. Whether your artistic passion is for French Impressionist or Japanese prints, or your design tastes run to ancient Egyptian, early American, or cutting edge contemporary, you'll find enough to keep you happy in the depth and breadth of this museum's collection. The Rhode Island School of Design, RISD, one of America's top art colleges, reflects its own wide range of specialties in the objects chosen for this museum. Needlework and textiles, sculptures from ancient to Rodin, Asian art, videos, furnished federal period rooms, and galleries of priceless paintings comprise dozens of individual collections. People of Providence because of the Rhode Island State Capitol. A Providence landmark, the white marble Rhode Island State Capitol dominates the city with the world's fourth largest self-supported dome. The neoclassical building was designed by the architectural firm of McKim, Mead and & White and completed in 1904. You can visit the building on your own or with a free guided tour. You'll see the painting entitled The Four Freedoms by James Allen King inside the dome and Gilbert Stewart's portrait of George Washington. There's also a gun from the Battle of Gettysburg and a replica of the Liberty Bell. People of Providence because of Federal Hill. Atwell's Avenue crowns Federal Hill the hill that rises to the west of Down City and is the vibrant heart of Providence's large Italian-American community. That community now spreads throughout the city, but the concentration of restaurants, cafes and shops selling Italian foods along Atwell's Avenue and its adjacent streets and squares stems from the days when immigrants grew closely with others who shared their language and traditions. Today, Italian cooks shop in its delis and bakeries to find fresh made mozzarella, tangy pickled cherry peppers, and imported cured meats. Come here to eat an Italian meal, whether it's spaghetti and red sauce or northern Italian dishes served in a linens and crystal setting. It's also the place to linger over a cappuccino or a dish of gelato at a sidewalk cafe in Di Pasquale Plaza, or join in a boisterous street festival on Columbus Day. People of Providence because of Water Place Park. 
people still have trouble pronouncing the names of the Moshashek and Wanastakatucket, two narrow rivers that wind through Providence, but at least now you can see them. This was not always true. For decades, they were hidden by what may have been the world's widest bridge until they were once again revealed in the 1990s. In a major revitalization of the entire area, the rivers were uncovered and their banks lined with walkways, benches, gardens, and trees in a riverside corridor known as Water Place Park and Riverwalk. Instead of a solid bridge of highways and traffic congestion, the rivers are now spanned by graceful bridges patterned after those in Venice. During Water Fire, centered in Water Place Park, the river is alight with bonfires, and from spring through late autumn, the area is alive with walkers, bikers, joggers, people enjoying the summer concerts, and public art installations. People of Providence because of the Providence Performing Arts Center. A prominent feature on lively Waybosset Street for nearly a century, the Providence Performing Arts Center occupies the former Lowe's Movie Palace. The stunning Bow Art Theater was designed by George and C.W. Rapp of Chicago, who designed many of the most opulent theaters of the time. The interior is as sumptuous as it was when it opened in 1928, with marble columns, detailed plasterwork, a richly ornamented ceiling, and crystal chandeliers. Periodic renovations have modernized its facilities without losing the opulent interior. People of Providence because of Benefit Street's Mile of History. On this mile-long street traversing the steep hillside that rises from the river to Brown University campus, you can see an architectural history of Providence. At one end are the restrained and elegant federal period homes, beautifully restored with their doorways in a neat row close to the street, and as you walk farther, you can see the grand homes set back on their lawns and late Victorian and arts and crafts style residences. Several of the city's tourist attractions are among them, the Governor Stephen Hopkins House with its terrace garden, the Athenaeum, and the John Brown House. You can get details on the various buildings from an excellent Benefit Street walking tour booklet from the Providence Preservation Society. People of Providence because of Brown University. The Brown University campus crowns College Hill and has since 1770 its oldest building and still the center of the campus is University Hall which served as a barracks and hospital during the revolution. The impressive Van Wickle gates open only twice a year on the first day of classes and for the commencement procession in May. Stamp collectors will want to see the complete collection of U.S. postage stamps in the John Hay Library. The John Carter Brown Library has a collection of rare early maps. The free David Winton Bell Gallery has excellent changing exhibits of contemporary and historic art. Consult the University Hall for student-led campus tours. People of Providence because of Stephen Hopkins House. A signer of the Declaration of Independence and governor of the colony of Rhode Island, Stephen Hopkins bought this 1707 home on the corner of Benefit Street in 1743. He added a two-story house at the front. The eight-room house is furnished authentically to Hopkins period and contains original artifacts and family pieces. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Providence. If you've got a reason why you love Providence, Pop it in the comment section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!